Hello, welcome to my show. Who the hell am I? Well, if you don't know, you may have seen me in Scum and Bee or The Lion and the Wiz or on the electric company watching TV with your kids. But if you saw Memphis, how could you forget this? The smile, the style, the fact, the blow. Welcome to the James Monroe Idle Heart Show. How am I doing? Pretty good. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the James Monroe Eagles Heart Show. And as you can see, as far as um, where I'm interviewing people in my set, it just seems to be getting a lot worse. But it's not, it's not anybody else's fault. Someday I will have a budget to be able to do the interviews in a nice place. But the person I am interviewing is magnificent, even though the surroundings may not be. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to Preston Duggar. Preston. This brother joined our show, and he has been magnificent. But I wanted the, our fans of Memphis to get to know you. So, Preston, please, for our fans, tell them what your name is. My name is Preston Warren Dutta the Third. All right. Now, see, that's a prestigious name. I like that. And, Preston, um, kind of explain what, what exactly you do here at our wonderful show, Memphis. Um, I'm a part of the ensemble, and um, I'm dancing. I'm singing somehow. I tricked them to let me sing. <laughs> so I'm singing and uh, a little bit of acting here and there too. So that's. And I won't say, uh, Preston has two lines, and his first line I won't say because it's not appropriate, but it's it's a crowd pleaser. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, Huey walks in, Preston speaks, and boy, it definitely gets a reaction. It's beautiful. So, Preston, um, I am a San Francisco Bay Area brother. And you are not from there, but you did kick it in my spot yeah. for how long? About five years. Five, five years, years you were in the same square. Yeah. Doing what? Right. Um, I was a part of ballet companies before I like started with the whole musical thing. But... Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want you to see that there's a brother, a real brother, uh, a real brother, <laughs> who's a ballet dancer. So how did you get started in ballet before you went to SF? Wow. Um, I don't know. I just went to a lot of performing arts schools. My, my parents introduced me a lot to the arts by um, exposing me to uh, magnet school programs and things like that. So um, they were always, you know, advocates of doing things that are different, going against the grain of you know how we all grew up. You yeah. know. So that's how I got started in like the ballet world, and uh, it was with this small program called the Institute of Harlem Residency Program, and that was back in D.C. and. Uh, is that where you're from? I'm from D.C., yes. All right, D.C., boy, D.C. Yeah, but, uh, As Richard Pryor said, dark country. Dark country, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> you're from D.C. But, anyway. uh, yeah, we just, I just was, you know, doing little ballet uh, classes every once in a while on the weekends, and then that ended up turning into summer programs, and then from summer programs, I started getting jobs, and after high school, um, my parents, they wanted me to go to their school, University of Maryland, John Hopkins. You know, I got a little bit of, you know, acceptance in some of those schools, but I just decided to keep dancing, and yeah. here I am, you know. So, you didn't go to college. Didn't go to college. You, but you, you made on your dancing skills. Yeah, I did. I See, did. ladies and gentlemen, uh, as I always say, I mean, I, I always say, but sometimes we, uh, we get people asking, you know, should you go to college, should you go to school? Paul McGill didn't, Preston didn't, but they also had mad skills to be able to get here without it and the discipline. I've seen this brother dance, trust me, um, it's amazing. You got to come and see Preston. So Preston, you were dancing in ballet companies, you were in the Bay Area dancing in ballet companies. How did you get to Broadway? Alright, so Dion Figgins is a part of this cast. Yes she is. And we grew up together. <laughs> really? And yeah, we grew up in DC together. Of course! course. Yeah, yeah. So okay, that makes like, sense. You know, you gotta come out all these years. She's been a part of Memphis, and she's like, you gotta audition for, you know, Broadway. You have to. And I'm like, yeah, Dion, all right, cool. I'll do that, you know, later on in the line. But this year, somehow, she was like, you know, you really you really gotta do it. And she convinced me, and I auditioned the first Broadway show I ever auditioned for, and I got it. And 2010, Tony winners, you know, <laughs> I'm a part of this family, and it's, it's pretty awesome to be, you know, with you guys. Now... If you don't know, if you haven't, if you didn't get to see our show before the Tonys, mm -hmm. then you don't know who Dion Figgins is. Mm -hmm. If you did see our show before the Tonys, you can't miss her. Yeah. She, the first we open, she's the girl in the blonde wig dancing her butt off. Now, Dion, for Dion to say, for Dion to endorse a dancer, they have to be 
in the words of the dancers on New York, fierce. <laughs> so you must be, well, I've seen it, but you must be fierce. For Dion to say something. No, I yeah, it's 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 uh, mm, trust me. <laughs> so um, now that you're on Broadway, mm -hmm. what are your future aspirations? Not that we want you to leave anytime soon. Oh, Matter of wow. fact, you know um, you're here for a long time. Yeah. Yes. They're going to have to call security <laughs> to get me out of here. So, I'm, I'm, I'm good right good. now. As we far as it. being here, um, like, like I said before, this is my first, you know, Broadway musical, and I intend to stay healthy and strong, and, and be and grow as a, a Broadway artist. You know what I mean, and learn a lot from you guys. You know, so as of right now, you know, I plan to be here. And of course, there are little other avenues that I plan to, you know, get my hands into. Like, but that's outside of work. Like, you know, painting again. And, You're a painter. Yeah. Well, I mean, I got into like um, sketching and things like cool. that when I was in school, like high school, or whatever. And did that boxing was it, was that? Boxing, yeah, of course, man. Wow, so you know, as LL Cool J said, you know, soft as a pillow, hard as steel. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I, I love that the sensitive side, the hard side, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's wonderful to have Preston in our show, and you guys don't get to see this because you guys are backstage. But Preston is, uh, although I'm bigger than him, he's not. He's kind of mean to me when we're backstage. <laughs> he slaps me constantly. <laughs> Isn't it true, Preston? You give slaps back. I, what? You do? No, my fans, I would never hit anybody. Mm. You're going to mm. get it. You, you, see, that. you, hit it? you hit Everything's it. fine. Everything's great. It's <laughs> wonderful. But, man, I just wanted everybody to get to know you. Uh, yeah, man, I appreciate it. Preston that. stepped in uh, right after one of our brothers left, and I mean, within, what was it, a week? Yeah. Within a week, he knew our show. He was in it. The energy he brings is amazing. It's wonderful to have you here, brother. Glad you're a part of the family. Thank you. Ladies man. and gentlemen, Preston Dunn. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. See you on the next episode of Jay's Rival Heart Show with some more new members and hopefully better surroundings. You're not too cold, right? No, I'm good. Well, that is Can we, uh, fans? <laughs> I swear, I swear, fans, Jay's Rival Heart Show, I'm going to get some money. I don't know how I'm going to get some money. If all of you people look at me and go, what about your Broadway money? Don't talk about that. I got a wife.